Hola, mi nombre es Ubaldo Reyes, bienvenidos a mi canal Radiofísica con Baldo. Este video es el segundo que aborda el tema de elaboración de un plan de tratamiento en un equipo de tomoterapia. Recordemos que en el pasado video ya iniciamos nuestro proceso y tomamos como referencia un caso de cáncer de próstata. Así que en este segundo video vamos a terminar nuestro plan de tratamiento y lo analizaremos. Sin más preámbulo, comenzamos. Treatment Plan in Tomotherapy On the first video, we discussed the process of countering, the ROIs and the characteristics of a treatment plan. On this second video, we will concentrate on the optimization, the fractionation, we will analyze the complete treatment plan, and at the end, we will give our final comments in regards to this topic. We will head to the optimization tab, and in this case, the first thing we will place is the name, first phase, and the prescribed dose is 45 grays in 25 sessions. I normally begin with the following values. For the target values, the first thing I do is set them a value of 100 in importance. For the maximum dose, I regularly set one more gray than the prescribed dose. In this case, it would be 46 grays for all of the three volumes. As a maximum dose penalty, I set 100 for all of them. The point of reference for all of these volumes will be set to 97%, and the dose that I want the point to hit is 45 grays. Now, the minimum dose will also be set to 45 grays, and finally, the minimum dose penalty will be set to 100. Let's look at the restrictions for the regions of interest. In these cases, I always begin with importance. I set the number 10 for all of them. I set 45 grays for the maximum dose, and I set 10 to the maximum dose penalty. The volume of reference to the DVH is 5%. The dose of the DVH are also 5 grays. And finally, the DVH penalty is set to the number 10. With that, I begin the first calculations. I regularly leave them at 100 iterations. I stop it and do the following. I now modify the restrictions, for example, in this case, Rectum and bladder on the 50% of volume, I set them to 15 and 10 grays, respectively, with the penalty of 100. For the bowel, I do set a point of reference of 5% of the volume. I want it to hit 40 grays and set a penalization of 50. For the right and left femur, I set maximum dose of 25 grace with a penalty of 100, and the point of reference is 20% of the volume. I want it to hit with 5 grace with a penalty of 50. Once again, I let the system calculate. In this case, it was around 300 iterations, and with that, the first treatment plan is almost ready. We make the calculations of final dose to finalize the first phase. We check the treatment plan. We check that the PTV45 is covered. And with that, we finalize the first phase. To begin the treatment plan for the second phase, we simply make a copy of this plan pressing F4. We set the name second phase, we load and we begin. The first thing we do is cancel out everything. We head to the regions of interest tab and the first thing we change is the PTV45 as a target because we will no longer utilize it. What's next is on plan settings tab. 
we select the width of the field, in this case one centimeter, and immediately after that we head to the optimization tab and set the following values. First, we set the number of sessions, five in this case, and begin with the target values. In this case, 100 of importance for both, a maximum dose of 9.5 grays, a maximum dose penalty of 100 for that maximum dose. We will set the system to give those 97% of volumes 9 grays, and minimum dose of 9 grays, and minimum dose penalty of 100. We initiate with the regions of risk, in this case a 10 for importance for all of them, a maximum dose of 9 grays, a maximum dose penalty of 10 grays. On the DVH we will set that on 5% of volumes, have to hit 5 grays, and the penalization will be set to 10. We will remove the ring of PTV45 and the cooler ENF. We won't use them. In the place of the ring PTV45, we will place the ring PTV54. Like we also select a field of one centimeter. Something else we do is lower the modulation factor to two. And before letting the system calculate, we set the volume prescription, which in this case will be set to the volume of 54 grays. We forgot to remove the, bio mi the bowel minus PTB because in the second phase, it will basically not receive any dose. Now we set the system to calculate in this case, I usually make the same process. I let it run for about 100 iterations to see how it's working and after that start placing restrictions. The new restrictions are basically similar to the first phase and you can see the values here. And after that I set the system to calculate and let it run for about 300 iterations. Once again, I calculate the final dose. When it's done, I make a visual check on how the treatment plan turned out. If everything is fine, we begin the treatment plan for the third phase. For that, we copy this plan and name it third phase. We head to the optimization tab and the settings that were previously done, we remove them. Then we head to the regions of interest and change the target volume PTV 54 and leave the target volume PTV 81. We will utilize the ring PTV 81 and remove ring PTV 54. Once this is done, we head to the optimization tab. The prescribed dose that was set was 27 grays in 15 sessions we modify the following values. Importance 100, maximum dose 27, maximum dose penalty 100, DVH volume 97, DVH dose 27 grays, minimum dose 27 grays, and minimum dose penalty 100. For the case of the regions of risk, the same Importance of 10, maximum dose 27 grays, maximum dose penalty 10, DVH volume 5% of volume, DVH dose 5 grays, and DVH penalty 10. We press start to calculate at least 100 iterations. When the system has calculated 100 iterations, we stop it and we begin with the restrictions for our regions of interest. The values we use are the following. For rectum and bladder, to the 20% of the volume, we set five grays with a penalty of 100. For the left and right femur, 
what we're going to set is a maximum dose of 5 grays with the penalty of 100 and the same the 20% of volume will be set to 2 grays and with the penalty of 50. After this we will let the system set around 200 iterations. We pause the plan to obtain final dose of this phase and we do the corresponding visual check of the treatment plan. If everything is fine, we sum the three phases of treatment to evaluate the full treatment plan. We will simply select first, second, and third phase and let the system do the corresponding calculations to obtain the result of the three phases. Treatment Plan Analysis We first check the DVH, we verify the three volumes to irradiate some organs at risk, rectum, bladder, bowel, left and right femur, penis bulb, and bowel minus PTV. We initiate the coverage. For example, for the PTV81, we have a coverage of 99%. The same for PTV45 and for PTV54, a coverage of 100%. Let's calculate the gradient only for PTV81. It has a maximum dose of 85.697 grays. Therefore, having done the operation, we are left with a gradient of 5.8%. 50% of the volume to the rectum reached 30 grays and 50% of bladder reach 24 grays. The rest of the volumes are noted here as a reference. The right femur has a maximum dose of 34.48 grays and an average of 10.26 grays. And the left femur has a maximum dose of 33.88 grays with an average of 11.58 grays. The penis bulb has an average of 13.98 grays and a maximum dose of 47.32 grays. The bowel minus PTV has a maximum dose of 48.22 grays and an average of 14.37 grays. And at 195 cubic centimeters, it has 37.4 grays. To finalize this part, we are going to do a visual inspection on how this dose was distributed. In this case, in red, we have 81 grays, in orange, 54 grays, and in green, we have 45 grays. Visually, we can reaffirm how we have a really good confirmation of doses for this treatment plan on the three values we are going to irradiate. Final comments. Desde mi punto de vista, elaborar un plan de tratamiento es un proceso relativamente sencillo y aunque es un trabajo que depende básicamente de los dosimetristas, es importante que los físicos mantengamos activos protocolos para garantizar que el acelerador lineal tiene la capacidad de reproducir la distribución de dosis que hemos aprobado en nuestro plan de tratamiento. Hablando específicamente de tomoterapia, recordemos que todo es planificación inversa. Espero este video sea de utilidad, denle like, suscríbanse a nuestro canal y nos vemos en el siguiente video. Muchas gracias.